What is up? It's Jan back at it again with another nerdy bookish video. Welcome to another reading vlog. Hello, happy Monday. Currently Monday. This is gonna be like a four day vlog. I was gonna take a four day vlog break because I kind of put myself in a slump with my last vlog because I was trying to finish all my library books and I successfully did. Not finish all of them, I DNF'd a couple and returned a couple, but that vlog just kind of put me in a slump and I was like, maybe I need a break until back to school readathon, which starts on the 25th until the 31st. But I just feel like a fresh vlog for a fresh week is is just gonna result in some good reading, you know? <laughs> I feel great about reading now that all my library books are gone, clean slate in that regard. The reason I did that was so I could stick to my physical TBR, aka the books I already own, slash will buy <laughs> inevitably in the next couple months. Just books I own until we move in October. So I'm gonna try to like whittle down my physical TBR as much as I can, get rid of as many books as I can. So that's the goal from now until then. And then I can go back to the library once we're settled into our new place. In terms of current reads this week, I'm still at like 17 current reads, okay? Yes, take a moment with it and then never mention it again, okay? I get it, it's crazy, it's a problem. This week, my plan is to definitely finish Threads That Bind. This is the naked cover. The dust jacket's over there, but this is the fairy loot edition. It's gorgeous. I've been trying to read my fairy loot books as they come. So this was the July box. There's also a fairy loot read along going on, so that's my motivation to pick this up this week and not squeeze it into my cramming vlog. That's also going to be combined with my back to school readathon vlog. I'm liking it so far. It is a five star prediction, especially because the other two fairy loot books I read this year, Divine Rivals and Sing Me to Sleep, were five stars. I'm 46 pages in. One of my patrons, Brie, read this. She loved it. It's like one of her favorites of the year, she said. So I'm hoping I love it too. My biggest gripe about this is the fact that the world building is kind of redundant to the point where I was looking back at pages I've read and I was like I've read this before I mean it's a debut so I'll give it some grace but it is redundant to the point where it's like literally just rearranged sentences to explain the same exact piece of magic in this world so in this world we have these different like threads like life threads I guess and these threads link you to like things you love and people you connect with it's kind of hard to explain and I honestly don't fully understand it yet. I'm still getting accustomed to everything, but there are different types of threads too. Like there's a home thread, like a fate thread or something. And then one of our main characters, Io, Io, who's one of the three sisters who are descendants of this goddess, goddess of the fates. That sounds right, right? They're called Moira born. There's so much terminology in this. So maybe the redundancy isn't, isn't such a bad thing for my weak brain when it comes to fan some fantasies, most fantasies. There's a lot of moving parts to this story, but there's also so this boy that our main character is like, it's like a faded mate situation, but there's a dilemma with that. Some people know, some people don't, and it's this whole thing. And there's also a murder mystery. Like I said, there's a lot of moving parts. There's a lot going on, but it's a gorgeous book. I am highlighting in it. I usually don't annotate my fairy loot books. I definitely don't tab them because of the stenciled edges, but I am highlighting in this one because I feel like this one's gonna be more confusing than the other two I've read. So that's the first priority. I do have sprints at 7 p.m. today with my patrons. Patreon links down below. We are called The Lair. We're vampire themed. It's a good time. We have a discord. We have buddy reads. We have readathons monthly. We have movie nights and exclusive content, obviously. Videos with Joey. It's a whole thing. So I would love to have you if you're interested. Like I said, links down below. Like I said, I'm currently reading 17 books. So I'll talk about the rest of them as I pick them up. I'm also currently listening to Daughter of the Siren Queen. I'm almost done with it. I have about an hour left of the audiobook, give or take. been listening to it on my drives pretty much, but I do have some laundry to put away, so I might be able to finish that tonight. This is the sequel to Daughter of the Pirate King, which I surprisingly loved. I gave that one a good solid four stars. This one's probably gonna be a three. I'm not as invested as the first one, but it's the same series. It's a duology. Well, it's like, mm. there's like a spin-off book coming out in November, I believe. I think it's a separate thing, but this is its own duology. After Joey and I watched The Last Voyage of the Demeter, which I highly recommend, it's like a Dracula, a piece of 
of Dracula, like the voyage in the story of Dracula in this like horror movie type thing. It's so good. It was so good. And we saw it at like 1040 at night and I was falling asleep, but it didn't deter from my enjoyment of the movie. <laughs> I promise. So watching that made me crave books that are set on water for the first time in my life. Like pirate books was never interested. Maybe when I read Peter and the Star Catchers, that's a throwback. I did kind of enjoy reading that. But other than that, I was never like a water <laughs> type of girly, like mermaids and whatever. But sirens, I can get behind. Like Sing Me to Sleep, I was nervous for that one, but that was five stars. Also another surprising one. And now I really want to read The Adventures of Amina Al Sarafi too. This is an eight minute clip. I don't know what I'm saying. So that's my audiobook. My Kindle book right now is King of Wrath by Anna Huang. Love supporting BIPOC authors in this KU trendy popular romance genre. So it's my first Anna Huang. I keep wanting to say Anna. Is it Anna or Anna? It has one N. I don't know. You tell me. I think I've heard it both ways. But anyway, I'm enjoying that. It's very much, pretty much <laughs> the same exact vibes as Dreamland Billionaires, which I really love. Finished that series, so I'm glad I'm getting my fix from this one. So those are the three formats at the moment. I have a lot more physical books, but we'll just talk about the current one that I'm reading today. I'm gonna do a little workout, a little at-home workout, because if you saw my last vlog, I canceled my gym membership. So we're back to at-home workouts until we get our new apartment with an apartment gym. So that's exciting. Hope you enjoy this vlog. I'm gonna take it into probably Friday morning or Thursday night. It'll be a short one. Well, maybe not if I don't shut up, but yeah, enjoy. Goodbye, I'll talk to you I later. just did my first at-home workout in a while and the first of many, that was fun. My favorite at-home workout person is Chloe Ting, but today I tried MK Fit. I've heard she's good too, and I've heard that girl named Audrey, and then Madison something, Mad K Fit, Mad Fit, or something like that. I'll try them all, probably. Maybe not. I stick to my Chloe Ting because it works for me, but today I did like a Taylor Swift like hit dance workout, and dude, I was sweating. I'm like less than five minutes into, before I have to go live, I'm gonna put these earrings on. I'm gonna change out of this sports bra and hope I don't look like a sweaty hot mess But my patrons will understand regardless. <laughs> I'm so excited to read threads that bind for the read-along We're supposed to read up to like through chapter 7 and I only have less than 20 pages left to get to that checkpoint So I'll definitely be ahead which is exciting. I really like this pink with my blue hair. I feel like alternative Barbie <laughs> I gotta go. I clearly the endorphins worked. They are endorphining. So happy freaking Monday. <laughs> off sprints. I'm about to shower. Sprints were fun. I switched to my Kindle. I read King of Wrath for the second sprint because I was eating dinner and I didn't want to get my fairy loot edition barbecue sauced up, you know? But I got to page 69 of Threads That Bind. So I did hit the checkpoint for the read along, but I do kind of want to read more. At least finish that chapter, but I also have to put laundry away. And then I got to page 106 in King of Wrath. This one's really good too. I find myself laughing at certain things in the dialogue so I'm really liking the characters and the arranged marriage situation. Usually I don't, well before the Dreamland Billionaires, I usually don't like books that revolve around money, but I can get behind billionaire romances. So I am planning to continue that series because I think I'm gonna really like that one. I don't know if it's gonna be five stars. Could be. We'll see where the steam takes us. It depends on the cringiness of the steam, you know? Because right now it very well could be because I'm liking the banter, and the grumpy sunshine, not even sunshine. It's just like they're kind of both grumpy. Be, but threads that bind. I mean, we're still like finding things out. I'm not even a hundred pages in, so we're still kind of getting introduced to certain terms in the world, certain types of characters, different descendants of gods type things. So there's a lot of world building still going on. We're finding things out slowly about this murder mystery. It's addictive. Both of these books have addictive writing. The plan is to shower, to pop in my headphones, pop in, uh, they're the 
freaking over the head ones. I don't know why I said pop in. Whatever. Pop on my headphones and listen to Daughter of the Siren Queen while I put laundry away because I have a hamper that's been sitting there for like a week. And then Joey should be home by then. So maybe I'll get a little bit more reading done tonight. Who knows? I'm pretty energized from my workout. It was my first workout in like three weeks. So pretty pumped. But hopefully I can wake up pretty early tomorrow morning so I can edit my full moon readathon vlog because it's really late. It's a lot later than I wanted it to be. I was fine with it being a week late, but it's going on two now and I don't want that. So hopefully I can finish up, but I just have so much footage and it's only for week one and I still have the second part to that vlog. Anyway, okay, I'm gonna shower now and stop digging around. <laughs> She's gonna wait till the 25th. I can't. Part of me. It's like my winged eyeliner. Seriously, it's, that thing is like part of your body. <laughs> so like your your hands look weird without a fucking all camera. It's like a third arm. I was sprinting and one of my patrons was like, Tiffany, she said she doesn't like wearing Ollie Slicks. a ring because she's very aware that she has fingers when she wears rings. <laughs> What? Oh no, oh god! <laughs> Panicking. One of my other patrons, Nat, was like, I'm the opposite. I'm aware I have fingers when I don't wear rings. <laughs> That's so weird. Because Tiffany has her wedding band tattooed. Oh. Anyway, here's Wonderwall. <laughs> Here's Wonderwall with a raccoon playing the guitar as my favorite meme gotta, of 2023. You gotta insert it. I'm gonna insert it right here. Cover Joey's face. Yeah. <laughs> it's so fucking funny. Dude, I piss every time I think about it. You're gonna pause and do it and be like, you okay? <laughs> I still have my endorphins endorphining, so. Oh my god, I look like the. <laughs> I look like the cover of the salt grows heavy. <laughs> I'm gonna insert the picture. <laughs> Good night. I oh, I finished Daughter of the Siren Queen. That's why I picked this. Song. I was like, this is that's how you're ending this clip. I finished Daughter of the Siren Queen. I gave it three stars. I like the ending a lot, but I zoned out a lot because the buildup was so dragged on for no reason. But it was the same narrator as the first one, so it was still pleasant to listen to. I really enjoy that narrator. I hope I find more books narrated by her. Marissa Khalid, I think. I could be totally off. Marisol? I don't remember her name. She has a cool accent. Here's Joey. <laughs> anyway. Here's <laughs> one. I think that's all I have to say about it. I finished another duology. It's going on my list of series that I finished this year. Technically, there's a third one, like I said, called The Vengeance of the Pirate Queen, but I think it's a separate thing. So I'm gonna count this as done. Okay? Okay. High five. Good night. Talk to y'all tomorrow. Hopefully, I finish another book tomorrow. Yay. Yeah. Hi. I literally just got home from work and I threw on this fit so I can film this book haul finally. I started a new audiobook. I started The Light We Carry by Michelle Obama. I figured I want another nonfiction this month. I don't know why. I did read Becoming when it came out and I bought it. Love that, obviously. Gave it five stars. I have yet to read Barack's book. I'm loving hearing Michelle's voice again. If you've read it, I really love the knitting chapter, the chapter that she talks about knitting in and how like when everything in the world feels too big and and like insurmountable you got to focus on the little victories and actively completing some things so then it like not only distracts you from the big things but like gives you that sense of accomplishment and the feeling of being alive without engaging with the chaos of the real world i really like what she was saying in that chapter and how she said allow yourself the gift of absorption focus on actively completing something even if it's not beneficial to anyone but yourself yeah that's my reading update 
I only read like a chapter of Threads That Bind during my lunch break. Sorry, I didn't burn my camera, but I had Taco Bell for lunch, so there you go. It's gonna be one of those nights where I just like don't look at my phone too much. I'm gonna grind and edit this video, this full moon readathon vlog. I'm gonna film, post on Instagram, and basically after that, just like stay off social media and hopefully read about 100 pages tonight. It's really hot, so I'm gonna get to filming before I melt. And I'll talk to y'all later. finished my salad my dinner i just want to say that there's something weird going on with my ear it kind of really hurts actually i don't know if it's because i need to get my ears cleaned and it's been like over a year like way over a year what i actually picked the camera up for is to ask why it's like a requirement to use as many colons as you can in YA fantasies nowadays. It's so weird, like Sing Me to Sleep did it. Divine Rivals did not do it, but Sing Me to Sleep I noticed, Threads That Bind. First time I noticed the excessive colon usage was in Lucy Foley's The Paris Apartment. Like that was wild. It's like, instead of a semicolon, they use a colon for everything. And like sometimes it makes sense, but sometimes it's like unnecessary. On this one page, page 87 of Threads That Bind, there are three three times they use colons, two of which are within the same paragraph. I don't know. It's just distracting to me. It's the type of thing that I notice. My head hurts now because of this ear thing and I don't know what it is. I just hope nothing crawled in there because that's like one of my biggest fears. I'm gonna go keep reading. I've only read like 20 pages total today so this sucks. Hopefully I can get 80 pages in within the next hour before Joey gets home but that's a long shot so we shall see. Oh, also I finished editing my video. It's uploading right now. Say hi to Tyson the chicken nugget. frankly hellish outside. I'm about to go work out in my living room. <laughs> I'm gonna start a Chloe Ting challenge. We'll see if I finish it. I don't know. I'm not gonna take it too seriously. You know what I mean? Chloe Ting actually works. Just saying. I think I said that Monday when I started this vlog. I want to finish a book today. I don't care how I do it. I just want to finish a book. The Light We Carry, I was listening to on my drives. I think I'm like 24% in. Still loving it. It's absolutely going to be five stars. I kind of almost like it more than Becoming, I think, which I read when it came out. I already talked about this. I guess it's because it's more like her talking about over coming certain struggles and what she does personally as opposed to like life as barack obama's wife if that makes sense and then threads that bind i actually got a lot of reading done during my lunch break and stuff i made it past the 200 page mark i'm on page 204 i did not hit the checkpoint mark for yesterday until this morning when i read with christina before work so i did get to read the spoilery recap for that i'm really enjoying this fairy loot read along i know it's been two days but like it's fun and i think i'm gonna go back like shanghai immortal was one of their read-alongs and i'm in the middle of it so it'd be perfect motivation to finish that book and not be confused you know i'm on page 204 so i have about 140 ish pages give or take some i think i'm gonna go to a coffee shop after my workout if I'm still feeling it. We'll see how hungry I am and stuff um, and how much time I have left before they close. They close at nine. It's also like a two minute drive, so we'll see. But I am still really liking Threads That Bind, except it might not be a five star. It could very well be a very high four, just because the redundancy is not going away. Like I said, you can tell it's a debut where this author is still trying to figure out how to like properly, efficiently world build without it being repetitive. It's not info dumpy per se but it's like kind of forced it's clunky that's the word i'm looking for the flow of the story and like the information being delivered is like clunky i don't know that's just how i feel about it but i'm liking the plot and the characters so i mean i can't really complain in that sense but we'll see how the rest of the book goes maybe it'll give me that five star feel who knows i'm like really in the mood for a horror now again i know such sharp teeth is not really 
I mean, it's in the horror genre, but it's not like too ooky spooky, but it was quick when I read the first 60 pages, so I might try to squeeze that in somehow. I still have King of Wrath going, which I didn't read any of yesterday, but I'm planning on ending this vlog literally in like a day and a half. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. I also wanna start None of This Is True by Lisa Jewell. So I don't know. I guess my goal is to finish this for sure and The Light We Carry via audio, but I don't know. There's something about me that doesn't like when I read more audiobooks than physical books in a vlog just because for me personally it's more satisfying when I can be like I read two physical books and two audiobooks instead of one versus two you know what I mean so hopefully I can maybe finish such sharp teeth or something I don't know what I'm doing anymore but I'm gonna go work out because I'm just dawdling at this point it's so hot outside it's like 100 degrees so pray for me hi <laughs> I've debated for many minutes <laughs> whether I should go to this coffee shop or not and I think I will just to get out of the house I just had some Velveeta mac and cheese it's probably not gonna fill me up I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do for dinner but for now we're gonna go to a coffee shop we're gonna have coffee at 7 p.m. I'm gonna get a small I just want the vibes you know and I just want to like focus on my book I'm not gonna bring my laptop I'll probably use the forest app on my phone my hair is messed up I'll shower when I get back but that's the plan. I totally forgot to say Miss S.T. Gibson and I were talking because <laughs> that happens now and it blows my mind every time. But we were talking, of course, about A Dowry of Blood, how I haven't read An Encore of Roses yet or A Cathedral of Intrigue, which are the two bonus stories in the Bookish Box edition. Well, Encore of Roses is on her website as well. I don't know if it's in any other like print format, but in my edition, it's there. So I told her I'd read it tonight. So I'm gonna count those as like books read because like I've counted picture books before so like who am I to discredit S.T. Gibson's masterpieces as books you know and I'm sure they'll be on Goodreads as individual pieces of literature plus I've counted like the fall of the house of Usher. I don't know why I'm getting so defensive I was just gonna tell y'all that I'm gonna read them at this coffee shop I think they're like less than 20 pages each so that should be quick and then I should still have time to read some of threads that bind while I was eating I was reading King of Wrath literally like six pages I don't know I don't know about this finishing books thing I'm just <sighs> there's too many things going on i need to get another patreon video up before the end of the month but i just uploaded a vlog on youtube so i just need to like chill i just need to chill i also haven't like seen my mom in like over a week so i should probably go there tomorrow but i don't know what's happening i don't know i don't know i don't know but i can stay up a little later tonight because tomorrow i have an ear doctor appointment to finally get this sorted out because i'm way overdue for my ear cleaning <laughs> so i have a late start at work but i am going to be working from home for like an hour and a half before my appointment at 11. my arms are hurting i'm wearing my hello lovely shirt let's go <laughs> home because children started appearing out of nowhere I don't know why people go to this coffee shop like 30 minutes before they close like that's when it starts to get packed like the few times that I've been there that I went at like 7 it would be empty until like 8 30 and they close at 9 and I'm just like confused I did accomplish some things so I finished an encore of roses as well as a cathedral of intrigue and I'm really sad because a cathedral of intrigue is the one I liked more and that's the one that's not on goodreads I'm still counting the page count towards Towards my daily page count because I read the damn pages right but it's not going towards my goodreads goal it's fine an encore of roses is though so I gave roses four stars and cathedral five stars an encore of roses is from Alexi's perspective if you've read a dowry of blood you know who I'm talking about literally no one does vampiric polyamory like ST Gibson no one writes as sophisticated <laughs> steamy scenes as ST Gibson that was just a cute little story of them like expressing their love Love to each other and how much they miss each other after the events of A Dowry of Blood. A Cathedral of Intrigue is Magdalena's story it's from her perspective and basically the three of them go to church. <laughs> There's a priest involved and it's hilarious. It's honestly so fun but it also has good discussions about religion and what it means to be free, freedom in general when you are an adult. It reminded me of the discussions of freedom in The Laws of the Skies so that was 
interesting. But yeah, it was just, it's so funny because Alexi is an atheist and then we have Constanta who's like the religious one and then they go to church and then they hang out with the priest basically and that's all I'm gonna say because it's a short story and yeah. So I'm gonna continue reading Threads That Bind. But you know what? I kind of want to read None of This Is True. Do y'all think I can finish None of This Is True in a day? I'm gonna start None of This Is True because why wouldn't I add an 18th book to my current reads? It's fine. Okay, update. I read the first chapter-ish. I read 16 pages. I'm intrigued, but I keep thinking about threads that bind. So I think I'm gonna go back to that because I am interested in what's happening and what could happen. So I'm just glad I got it out of my system. I started None of This Is True. It's there, it'll happen eventually. I'm gonna go back to threads that bind. I kinda want some Cheetos, but I also haven't had like a real dinner yet. But how Cheetos is my girl dinner. You gotta focus it, you gotta boop it. Boop it. No, boop the screen. <laughs> okay, but you have to hold it still to your face. Don't press it. I'm not. There you go. Hi. Is it still blurry? A little bit. There you go. You're against the light, that's why. There you go, you What's up, party people? I'm a vlogger now. We're about to get pumpkin cream cold brew. You guys want to see what my view is? This is eye level. We get a pumpkin cream. You can't even see fucking me. Fucking here, we, here we go. That's better. She's got a pile on her face. I could do this. I could be a vlogger. Yeah, talk about your books. What did you, you finish yesterday? Um. Red. Oh, yeah. I read Red. You read Red. By Jack Ketchum. And then, immediately after, I found the movie that they made. Apparently, they made a whole bunch of Jack Ketchum books into movies. So, that's going to be my whole thing now. I'm going to read a Jack Ketchum book. And then, I'm going to watch the movie. Follow him on TikTok. Oh man, TikTok. Anyway. That's enough either. Now I'm watching this. Anyway, here's Wonderwall. Anyway, here's Jan. Hello, we're about to get something. That looks way better. Like, this looks normal. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't like that other angle. <laughs> Guess what today is, Bailey? We just told them. It's pumpkin spice. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go, because then I have to clock into work and then get my ears cleaned. Does anyone else get their ears cleaned every six months? Well, two years for you. For me, it was... It's two years now. Okay, well, I don't even know why I'm vlogging. I just told him to bring it. Okay. It's fall. It's fall, baby. No, it's not. It's 100. It's 102. It's pink. Hi. It is way too hot to do anything, let alone a fucking workout. So I don't know if I'm gonna muster up the energy to do that, but I do have to muster up the energy to finish Threads That Bind before I end this vlog. I am mm, about 70 pages away from finishing this and I just want it to be done already. I've been so slumpy and I'm definitely gonna blame the heat, but like also just still catching up and feeling like a headless chicken from my full moon readathon. So I'm just everywhere. I also wanna work on my Patreon top tier exclusive video tonight because it shouldn't take too, too long because it's just like a game that Joey and I played. So that should also boost my serotonin a little bit because it's fun to edit those types of videos. But right now I just wanna lay down. I'm gonna take my pants off soon and just lay here in front of the fan and hopefully get something done. Around seven, I told my mom I'll be at her place it's like disgusting out i don't understand why i ever wanted to move to a state like california where it's always fucking hot joey and i were just talking about it like because he used to want to move to arizona and i'm just like holy fuck we can't even handle this like this and it's been two days of this extreme hot weather i'm just over it i don't even know if this vlog is good did i even do anything like i finished an audiobook and then the two short stories yesterday and i'm hoping to finish the light we carry because i have like less than two hours left of listening to that in the speed that I listen to and it's so good. I just finished a chapter about her and Barack's relationship and I just love reading and listening about them because they're so cute. 
and the way she feels about him is so exactly the way I feel about Joey so like it's so relatable and I bought the physical copy on Pango today it was like seven dollars because I do want to reread it and annotate it and I think I'm more likely to reread this one than Becoming because this one has hit me more my arm's getting tired again holding this camera because I don't have the tripod on it wait also threads that bind I mean, I feel the same. I think it's gonna be four stars, not five now, which is sad, but I just can't justify giving it a five star. Something about the world building, like I said, it's still super clunky, so nothing's really changed in my thoughts, but hopefully the ending is strong and my next book is five stars, because I haven't had a five star in a very long time. a book and I'm gonna give it three star and I'm sad about it and I'll probably sell it on my pango because it's pretty special edition and someone else will love it more than I do and I know this for a fact because my girl Brienne gave us five stars and we're usually book twins but not today Satan it's a three for me it got redundant it kept being redundant and now I'm being redundant saying it's redundant because I've been saying that so many times I just didn't care about the characters like I thought I would be invested by the end but I really didn't care I wasn't rooting for any of them the betrayals were like kind of obvious so like I felt zero shock I felt like nothing and then there were times when like I almost felt something and then it just like ended like the chapter would just end like, none of this was shocking to me a lot of it was just confusing and like repeating the world building did not make it any less confusing it was just annoying but like at the same time i wasn't confused to the point where like i didn't understand what was going on i was just confused in terms of the characters and what their motives were and what they were doing like i understood the threads part that magic system but not the Karis born phobos born more born like i couldn't get that all that straight and so continues my journey to find books with greek gods that i actually enjoy a lot and yes i've read madeline miller i've read cersei and the song of achilles i tried ariadne i said this in this vlog already oh my god this book just rubbed off on me and now i'm redundant say it one more time yeah right say it one more time redundant say crack again crack. <laughs> yeah, i'm her tripod oh my god i'm naked oh my god you have it <laughs> i'm so sorry I forgot I was not wearing a shirt. <laughs> By the way, I'm not fully naked, I'm just shirtless. Okay, people? Let's relax. No one has. <laughs> no one. Joey. I'm not fully naked. <laughs> I did not finish The Light We Carry, but I can guarantee you it's five stars. So I'm not even going to say stay tuned for the next vlog for that one because I'll probably finish that tomorrow. Back to School Readathon starts tomorrow, so I'm going to combine that with my cramming vlog, but also have to start my Patreon exclusive spoiler filled full moon book club vlog you know what sucks is that my full moon book club pick which is court of the undying seasons by am strickland i don't know why i'm specifying because this is going to be up way after the live show is ya and now i'm not in the mood for ya because this kind of ruined it for me i'm really sad it wasn't bad it's just very much obviously a debut if there's a sequel i'm not gonna read it and i think there will be because one of the characters specifically was like we're not done here <laughs> i just don't care I don't care and like some things weren't answered at the end and part of me was like wow I wish we got those answers and then a bigger part of me was like I really don't care enough to okay tripod let's sorry clearly my tripod is weakening <laughs> withering away as we speak so I have to wrap it up here my wrist is hurting <laughs> Let me hold it. <laughs> Thank you. I finished technically four books if you count each of those short stories as a book, but we'll combine them. We'll call them one book. And then I finished this and I finished Daughter of the Siren Queen. So this is a cute little cheeky little vlog, right? 
And I started a couple books. Maybe I'll read None of This Is True. Maybe that'll be five stars because everyone's giving it five stars. But anyway, I made it to the end of this video. Put the thread emoji, like the spool of thread, you know? Because thread's that, yeah. Spool of yarn. Thread. Thread, yarn. Spool of thread. The yarn is like a yarn, like a ball of yarn. <laughs> a yarn ball. I'm tired. I'm so excited to end this vlog. I am not proud of this vlog, but I hope y'all enjoyed. Thank you so, so much for watching. Hope y'all had a great day. Stay safe and stay spooky always. And I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye.